Hello everyone and welcome to the podcast. This is a special episode of the show because this is not an episode where I'm reading comments or even bringing people on screen to talk. Okay, wait, I am bringing people on screen to talk, but there's a, they're not you. They're special guests from the publishing industry. Vivek Goel, who's the publisher of the comic book that I wrote some time ago, Ravanayan, and also the artist on it. And Ashwin Kalmane, who's a comic book writer in his own right and award-winning comic book writer, in fact. And they're here to talk about an upcoming comic book by Holy Cow. Uh, and I will presently bring them on screen. And uh, if you have any comments about the Indian comic book industry, leave them in the comments of this video. This is not live. This is being recorded and will be premiered later on. If you're watching this, this was recorded at least two days in advance. So without much further ado, do I shall bring them on screen. Here is Ashwin and here is Vivek. Ashwin can name change karna bhool gaya. Hold on. Ashwin can name abhi Captain Time Pass likha hai. Actually, Captain kuch aur tha, but abhi Time Pass ho gaya ho. Ma Ashwin ka name change karke Ashwin karo, ya tumhara name change karke Dejected Publisher kar do. Makkar Publisher lik do. Makkar. Jo exploit karta hai po. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having me. Makkar Publisher. Kar di actually. Makkar Publisher. Great. <laughs> Wait, why should my name be untouched? Hold on. Royalty uh, um, wala writer. How about that? Royalty pe jeene wala writer. Disciple of darkness. See, see how, how he's giving uh, uh, cool names to himself. Which means that I pass. Makkar publisher. Disciple of darkness. No, actually I should call myself a renamer of things. You know, this will have direct uh, uh, royalty renamer. Yeah, this is my name now. <laughs> royalty renamer. Yeah, so let us stop. <laughs> stop let's stop ducking <laughs> around. And so, so there's this comic book that is coming out. Uh, Ashwin has written it and you're publishing it. Who's the artist again? Uh, it's plural actually. Who are the artists? Who? Ye, uh, so uh, there are a lot, you know. I think uh, after. Sarvanayak from Raj Comics. This is the second uh, biggest culmination of artists in, uh, in Indian comic book industry on a, a series. You know, hmm. so it, it, there are a lot. Um, there is Gaurav Shivasta, Tadam Gyadu, um, Prasad Patnayak, um, uh, Vilash, Korak Bhomik, uh, Rajiv Das. Um, uh, kuch miss kar rahe Ashwin? Ajit Das. I didn't even hear most of the names you said. <laughs> okay, great. These are all uh, these are all artists who worked on this comic book that is coming. Yes, out. yes. These are all artists, all the artists who have worked on this comic book. I think there are, are 10, 10 to 11. These are artists and colorists. Yeah, artists okay, and okay. colorists. Artists and colorists. So and the whole team artists. basically. Yeah. yeah so team. tell me, tell me something about the comic book, Ashwin. What we start with is uh, this character called Ayud. Uh, hmm. He is a magician and okay. he... Uh, he basically uh, does all kinds of small time magic, right? And he goes and talks to this uh, inspector and he uh, he has a deal with this inspector where he's uh, doing small time magic. He's catching uh, magicians and stuff like that. Hmm. Or he's catching hmm. people associated with magic. And this is one of the screens, I mean, one of the pages where he gets the feet of a chudel who's basically turned her feet around and then going around doing stuff, but that's, that's what this is. Okay. And this is, uh, I thought this was an interesting thing to do as such. Mm. Mm. And that's, that's what this is. How so is this Ayud is a, Ayud has, uh, is a superhero? He's, so none of the characters in this are superheroes as much as Vivek would like to think they are. They're not actually superheroes. Uh, Ayud is basically a magician. Uh, hmm. The next character who we bring in is basically the son of a god. So okay. again, not really a superhero. I guess you can call him a superhero in the sense that Thor is a superhero. Okay. Thor is basically a god who's going around doing stuff. And hmm. that's kind of superhero -y. Uh, so basically, Vivek asks you for a superhero. You <laughs> create a fantasy character and you chip cow it on him. He's like, must superhero. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, my yeah. life. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so and even the third character, right? The third character uh, he had introduced, the one that he made by himself, is basically a guy who is invulnerable, but he doesn't have any superpowers. He's just good at fighting. 
That's it. Okay. That's again Who's not a hero as such. Who's uh, the Shaitan character? Singh. Shaitan, Shaitan Singh. Shaitan Singh. Huh. Yeah. Again, that's not a superhero as such. So none of hmm. the characters in the Holy Cow are superheroes as such. So basically, yeah. uh, there are no superheroes, okay, per se, in the Holy Cow universe. Uh, it's all a shade of grey. Okay, different shades of grey. Uh, yeah, but superheroes can be shades of grey, right? Ha, huh, but um, see, uh, Ashwin belongs to a different uh, school of thought, and uh, uh, the same uh, goes with me. So, I mean, <clears throat> I think he's telling in context with Superman that Superman is like a boy scout. Okay, never does anything wrong, and um, our superheroes are mostly, you know, people from regular lives, you know, every day, and uh, mm. you know, kind of people flawed, basically, more or less like us. So. Um, if I, I remember think, how, I think how, for, how operation except for yeah. Caster in the Holy Cow universe, right? Nobody else is a superhero as such. Because yeah. Caster, Caster, and Dehek. Dehek, Caster and Dehek. Yeah. Also, nobody yeah. else is a proper superhero. Mostly Correct. mostly also because Caster and Dehek are the first uh, two flyers in the Holy Cow universe. Ah. And superhero are mostly associated with the uh, you know the people who right. can fly. And mm. um, both are, uh, you know, very positive teenagers. So, mm. you know, happy-go-lucky kind of books. Otherwise, um, you know, most of the characters are flawed. Um, like well, Punisher, is, like and... such a, Vivek is like, hey, I want superheroes who are happy-go-lucky. Let me go to Ashwin Kalmane. And Ashwin is like, <laughs> here are two cut-off feet and a man who has no superpowers. Deal with life. <laughs> <laughs> Let me introduce some depressive superheroes, some depressed superheroes. And, and, and Vivek is so desperate that he says, chale, ghar chale, ghar man, kisi kaam chala lunga. <laughs> uh, Fortunately, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, I got a really good writer in Ashwin. Okay. Uh, oh, so, liye bol rahe ho. <laughs> haan, ke yeah, I totally, I totally believe it. Basically, I think uh, coming back to the original question, I think I would um iska main dena chahunga, basically. So Operation DK uh, started with a requirement. Uh, we were done with Ravanayan and most of the mythological stories. Uh, hmm. Ram was done with, uh, you know, with most of Aghori. Aghori came okay. to an end with uh, a volume three, Age of Immortals, and hmm. uh, we had already were we have already introduced Caster, and uh, we recently uh, uh, So I'm talking uh, seven years back. I'm talking about seven years back. So we we had recently, um, you know, completed Shaitan volume two. So two volumes of Shaitan were done. And uh, Ashwin wrote volume two. So volume two, likhne ke end mein. So I've made it a habit to have at least a couple of epilogue pages at the end of each volume or each hmm. story or each arc. So basically, the hmm. mind mein ek wo Marvel ka model chal hai na, which is very hmm. workable. Ki you let one existing superhero support the upcoming and yeah, yeah. Uh, you know help the other superheroes. The collected uh, universe. Uh, yes, other upcoming superheroes, and you know connect every dot by having a post credit scene which works well in the movies so wo post credit scene works well as the epilogues in in mm. comic book series connecting all the dots and making the holy cow universe take a, a bigger place to exist yeah so uh, i think we had this idea ki what we want to do uh, with the uh, 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 you know especially with the name operation dk by the end of shaitan volume 2 because wahan se kick start hua tha because I think we had a couple of, uh, you know, epilogue pages. Uske baad, uh, so Aghori was done. We were done with mythology. Shaitan and Castor were done. And I was like, okay, what's next? Ab kya kare aage? So, you know, there is a template. There is a superhero template. Uh, you can have a magician. You can have a demigod. You can have a soldier. You can have a, a scientist. It's mostly the Marvel template. Marvel or DC template, you know. A ah, speedster, ah. Uh, American uh, comic uh, template. Yes, American comic template. Ki hmm. In a basically in uh, yeah in a universe, you need to have these these kind of characters which are like very workable uh, uh, things. So uh, with Aghori gone, the magic uh, side of the Holy Cow universe was completely vacant. Uh, hmm. Aghori gone in the sense Aghori is owned by Ram V and Holy Cow Entertainment, and with Ram. Uh, extremely busy with his other priorities. Uh, so we decided that we shut down karte hai. Let's complete the story and we'll 
continue this someday. So a magic uh, uh, side of the universe had a vacancy. So I approached Ashwin. Um, I think seven years back, you had a day job, right? You were still working. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, I mean, you, you're still working now, no offense, but you were, <laughs> you were having a nine to five proper job. That's what I'm uh, talking about. So who was the time chal raha tha and uh, you know, I, we it's both very telling. That it's very, it's very telling when your employer says that you don't have a job. <laughs> <laughs> so, I thought that there is a magic side of the Holy Ghost universe requirement. Hai. Uh, uh, he was always a good writer. But uh, since he had a day job, a proper day job, so he was not able to do anything with uh, you know his skill of writing. And I was always after him, let's create something. But wo kahin na kahin wo cheez balance nahi ho paari thi. during that time, he, I think he was on the verge of leaving his job or you know he was thinking of leaving, giving a notice period if I remember correct, correctly. So Ayut ka jan us side, us, us dauran hua. We, we wanted to do something on a magical front. So I approached Ashwin and, and I was like, Yaar, abhi, Ashwin, do you... Sorry? I was just asking Ashwin if he remembers this. I do, I do. He does, I think. Yeah. He so, was sitting in a so CCD. What... <laughs> uh, okay. India so, mein, India, India mein big level creative meetings uh, CCD. Mein <laughs> mein <laughs> <hoti> <laughs> <hai>. <laughs> right, right. Words of so I have actually, if I, if I scroll down really to an old post on my main Instagram account, uh, I, I will probably find something where there is a boomerang of Ashwin mm-hmm. explaining something to you where he's really excited and you're like. <laughs> so, Ashwin, yeah. if you remember this meeting, what was the character that you got in your head at that time and how much is Ayud an actual reflection of it? So the first time Vivek explained his concept to me, right? it was supposed to be a, a sort of like a black uh, magician who comes to India and he does some stuff. When you say black yeah. magician, you mean a magician black, who black does black magic, magic no. or an African-American <laughs> magician? An African-American <laughs> who comes to India. And okay. he does black magic. And uh, okay. so he wasn't such an important character as such. He was more like a bad guy of sorts. Hmm. But then uh, after working a lot with Vivek, right, we came up with Ayud, who's completely different from what Vivek had initially. Ah, that happens. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's completely different. He's like a younger person. He's doing stuff. He's very, uh, he's, he's sort of a very depressed kind of guy. But mm. he's also trying to be happy and trying to show people that he's happy and he's going around mm. doing stuff. And uh, it's it's very different from what he first imagined. It. Also, the first book that Vivek had suggested was just three issues. And we were going to be done with Ayud's story in those three issues. But this ah. then turned out to be a huge event for Holy Cow. With yeah, this I, of- this I remember because back then, whenever we talked about comics, we were always saying, this happened with Ravana and also, but then Vivek became this uh, ambitious monster and it all became like a series which will never end. Yeah, uh, even now when I look back, I feel like I can add 10-20 pages more to Ravana. That sequence, that character. But then again, that happens, that happens. That was so inexperienced that आप इतने कैरिड अवे हो जाते हो स्टोरी टेलिंग में कि आपको पता ही नहीं चल पाता कि रुकना कहां है एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कि रुकना कहां है ये तो अच्छी बात है कि मैं खुद पब्लिशर था खुद पैसा लगा रहा था तो चलो कोई वैसा एक नेचुरल बैरियर था रुकना कहां है वहां जहां पैसे खत्म हो जाते हैं वहां जहां पैसे खत्म हो जाएंगे वहां करेंगे तो uh, ha. So, so, so I, I think along with Ayud, I also wanted to work on a, a Thor level character. You know, I wanted to introduce a demigod to the Holy Cow universe. I already uh, did some research about the uh, East African Yoruba mythology and uh, I had some ideas. I discussed those with Ashwin. Ye wohi CCD days the. And uh, we were like, Ki chalo, ek lamba series karte hai, you know. Uh, so we'll start with Ayud and um, it, it will uh, eventually introduce Okari, the, the mm-hmm. demigod character. Or Because uh, I think I should say this, ki initially there was no crossover ka plan. Nahi tha. Mm-hmm. Operation yeah. DK as such was a non-existent entity back then, mm-hmm. seven years back. I just wanted to work on a magical character and introduce a demigod. 
वी बोथ स्टार्टेड वर्किंग मेरा भी एक्सपीरियंस कम था अश्विन का भी थोड़ा उसमें वो था यू नो और हम जितनी हमारा स्किल और नॉलेज और कैपेबिलिटी थी उसके साथ हमने वर्क करना स्टार्ट किया एंड इट्स स्लोली एंड स्टेडली स्टार्टेड बिकमिंग बिगर 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 सो द इनिशियल आइडिया वॉज टू पब्लिश थ्री इशू सीरीज विद जस्ट आयु देन इट बिकेम अ सिक्स इशू सीरीज कंक्लूडिंग विद ओकारी और उसके बाद बड़ा होते होते एंड देन आई वॉज लाइक यार अश्विन इसमें कोई और होलिकाओं का कैरेक्टर यूज कर सकते हैं लेट्स इंट्रोड्यूस शैतान से वो एक कुजली होती है ना यू नो टू बट डू थिंक डू थिंक एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दी कनेक्टिविटी डू डू थिंक एट सम पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देयर इज एन अपर लिमिट बियॉन्ड व्हिच यू शुड नॉट गो बिकॉज़ इफ यू कीप डूइंग दिस यू कैन कीप डूइंग दिस इन एवरी कॉमिक बुक देयर विल बी सेवन कैरेक्टर्स डू यू थिंक दैट लाइक दिस इज अ वाइडर क्वेश्चन आल्सो इन टर्म्स ऑफ मार्वल डू यू थिंक दैट कॉमिक बुक यूनिवर्सेस कैन समटाइम्स बिकम सो लार्ज दैट दे एंड अप डिस्ट्रॉइंग देमसेल्व्स और एंड अप हर्टिंग देमसेल्व्स do you think yeah, that is like if there is a story with one character yeah. it's there easy to understand and it ends and it's over if there is an entire universe with 20000 characters and each one is making guest appearances in other people's movies sure it adds a certain kind of appeal but do you think this the entire comic book universe becomes a little unapproachable for people who don't read comics like they they think ha maybe i should read comics ye kaun hai mujhe pata nahi are ye it's referring to some old book and all that do you think that might happen it happens it happens it see it eventually uh, 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 sorry initially start aise hi hota you want to go bigger 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 you 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 are so ambitious you want to do mm. everything i mean the way marvel is going with its movies and tv shows but mm. there comes a saturation point jab wo bubble burst hota hai okay mm. wo bubble burst hone ke liye aapko ready hona chahiye because see at any given point of, or point of time uh there are only specific stories in the mind of a writer there are only specific sequences in a mind of a you know artist or isiliye uh, writers ke jo run hote hain theek hai they are succeeded by other writers because see the thing is that ki brian michael bendis did a 150 issue of new avengers ka run but hmm. after a point of time there came a saturation ki ab bendis was completely out of the stories okay so a new writer comes in uh, uh, a new creative team comes in जब उसका भी ज्यादा हो जाता है सो डीसी हैज एन आंसर टू एवरीथिंग लाइक दिस इट्स कॉल्ड एज द क्राइसिस इवेंट्स इट स्टार्टेड विद इंटरनेट क्राइसिस जब भी उनका ज्यादा हो जाता है वो एक क्राइसिस करते हैं आधे सुपर हीरोज को मार दो जो भी यूजलेस है खत्म करो एंड लेट्स रीबूट लेट्स स्टार्ट ओवर तो मार्वल आई वंडर इफ आई वंडर इफ डीसी के ऑफिसर्स में राइटर लोग बात करते होंगे लंच टाइम पे ए सुन तेरे कॉमिक का इसमें ना ज्यादा सेल नहीं हो अगले क्राइसिस में सब मरने वाले तेरे आई एम श्योर लाइक दे विल डिस्ट्रॉय द एंटायर प्लेनेट योर स्टोरी इज बेस्ड ऑन कुछ कर अपने लाइफ का <laughs> यार मेरी बीवी को वो कैरेक्टर पसंद नहीं है यार वो उसका कुछ करते हैं तो ऐसी ही बातें होती होंगी मल्टीपल कैरेक्टर्स हाउ मेनी कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ होलिका आर यू राइटिंग अश्विन आर यू राइटिंग और हैव रिटन ऑलमोस्ट हाफ राइट नाउ इट्स नेम देम नेम देम नेम देम आई टेल यू आयुध ओकारी and shaitan i have also written the heck i have written a uh, caster a caster not the caster okay i have written desh and uh, in the future i'll be writing one more character and maybe a couple of more okay so, yeah, so i think the few. conversation that we are talking about where two writers are talking to each other hey tera duniya nasht hone wala hai ashwin <laughs> must be having those conversations with himself <laughs> yeah i stand in front of the mirror and talk to myself in front of the mirror and there's another ashwin who's like saying deprecatory <laughs> things to you okay. uh, he is he is actually handling uh, you know quite a lot of characters because abhi chakkar ye ho raha hai na ki india mein shortage bahut hai creative hmm. talent ka bahut zyada shortage hai okay and uh, india mein bahut bada tragedy was... hai like there is shortage of creative talent and when you go out and look for creative talent all you find is ashwin <laughs> no there are others also <laughs> <laughs> इस समय का सीन ऐसा है ऑलमोस्ट अश्विन कालमाने और सुदीप मेनन ने 90 प्रतिशत कब्जा करके रखा है इनके पंजे हर जगह गड़े हुए हैं ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सेकंड प्रोजेक्ट दैट इज कमिंग विद एवरी मेजर एंड माइनर पब्लिशर इज आइदर रिटन बाय यू नो रिटन बाय कालमाने और मेनन हुस कमिंग बैक टू व्हाट यू गाइस वर टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक इफ आई गिव यू अ वेरी सिंपल एग्जांपल लाइक कमिंग बैक टू व्हाट यू गाइस वर टॉकिंग अबाउट बीइंग कैरेक्टर्स दैट आर यू नो whatever uh what 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 wait what being characters that are whatever what are what are you talking about the multiple characters thing ha <laughs> yeah the multiple characters thing ha 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 cool you you were saying whether multiple characters actually spoils the story i'll give you a very simple example about mm-hmm. 30 years ago or 20 30 years ago i read a batman comic which got over in one issue right 
Hmm. There was Batman, there was a bad guy, the two guys fought and the story got over. It was a very nice story. And I write 50 or 60 stories like this, you know, where just in one or two issues, the whole thing gets over. After that, subsequently, they came up with Robin, which was fine. You have Robin, you have a character that's that's uh, multiple these things, and you still were able to understand the story. But then mm. they started getting multiple Robins. Then they started getting multiple Batmans. Then they started putting uh, uh, Commissioner Gordon into the Batman suit and then making him Batman. Yeah, and they yeah. Got a bunch of other stuff. So this kind of complicates things for someone who's coming in new. Like if, if you're new to the series and you come in and you read, okay, maybe Commissioner Gordon is Batman, but why is this guy Bruce Wayne coming and becoming Batman suddenly? Why is this guy coming and becoming Batman when all these guys are already Batman? So it, it becomes unnecessarily complex that way. So I think mm. stories with such a long, uh, you know, thing that you're supposed to have, like Batman and Wonder Woman and Superman and, you know, X-Men and all of that. I think it's a little difficult to maintain as such. You need to have. That's uh, why the collapse. You're saying that's why this multiverse yeah. thing that the collapse. Correct, correct, hmm. correct. Now my question was that... actually about: Do you think this thing is detrimental to adoption of comics by new readers? I think it is. If you're a new reader, hmm. you come in and hmm. you read something that's got Commissioner Gordon as Batman, and hmm. then suddenly it changes from Commissioner Gordon to some guy called Bruce Wayne. So it's it's a hmm. little difficult to understand all of that. Yeah. It's, it's hmm. as a new reader, it won't be easy. Hmm. We are very far away from bubble uh, yeah. uh, right now. Okay, uh, the bursting of the bubble. We are just getting started. Abhi to, you know, mm. we, uh, uh, we're not creating any legacy characters or any teen comic books or any, you know, multiple versions of the same characters. Hamare liye to is samay halat aisi hai ki jo existing hai, wohi achhe se establish ho jaye, wohi bahut hai. Okay. So it's I, I you know, even after uh, publishing uh, for more than 13 years, I still consider Holika as a very very young company. Abhi kuch bhi nahi kiya hai because provided fact you know every year we have a record of like publishing six comic books a year so we are not even going monthly jo hamara volume itna nahi hai context or content abhi bhi bahut limited hai shaitan ki do volume hui hai gori ki teen volume hui hai caster ki ek hui hai and after that we did a crossover event to cross to to you know it's still very uh, it's still a very young universe um, characters old nahi hue hain bilkul bhi established hmm. ho rahe hain as i'm speaking okay uh, so uh, abhi 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 matlab koi bhi bubble abhi itna jaldi burst hone nahi wala hai abhi to bubble create bhi nahi hua hai so hmm. nee, mera point tha since haan. since you were saying that i was a, I, I just want to build on top of it because that kind of leads to my next question and it is that uh, we frequently hear complaints about how india mein comics grow nahi kar rahi hain comics industry needs more widespread adoption the reason i asked that question was because are the kind of stories we telling getting in the way of wider adoption because on one level it seems to be that that is seems to me like that is possible on the other hand anime universes have tremendously complicated character arcs and stuff but there is no problem of adoption everyone just picks it up and goes with it so what do you think like do you think the difference is only that anime promotions have more money and indian comic book creators don't or do you think there's a deeper reason behind like abhi kuch pichle kuch saalon mein hi anime ka adoption bahut zyada hua hai so why do you think that is skyrocketing and what can be done what can be learned from that to apply to the indian comic book industry main bol raha hu manga aur anime se abhi indian comic book uh, emergence ko compare nahi kiya ja sakta those are like very old industries we are still growing you know in fact hum mujhe abhi yaad aaya jaise maine abhi abhi ye word use kiya we are still growing okay इंडियन कॉमिक बुक इंडस्ट्री इज मोर देन 40 इयर्स ओल्ड ठीक है ग्रो करके मिड एज क्राइसिस होनी चाहिए थे इससे हमारी और 13 साल से मैं कोई भी पूछ रहा है हर साल यही सवाल आता है मतलब इट्स क्वाइट फ्रस्ट्रेटिंग नाउ एज आई एम जस्ट रिकॉलिंग व्हाट आई जस्ट सेड कि यार मैं 13 साल से एक ही जवाब दे रहा हूं इट्स ग्रोइंग इट्स ग्रोइंग इट्स ग्रोइंग बट बट क्या करें जब ग्रोथ बहुत स्लो है यहां पर एक सबसे बड़ी कल्चरल प्रॉब्लम क्या है कॉमिक बुक्स को आज भी बच्चों का वो माना जाता है घर में आपको एक अच्छी रिस्पेक्टफुल मतलब कंप्लीटली डिसरिस्पेक्टेड नजर से देखा जाएगा अगर आप कॉमिक बुक्स पढ़ भी रहे हो मोस्टली मैंने मैं इस बेसिस पे कह रहा हूँ बिकॉज आई अटेंड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी सिंगल कॉमिक कॉन और मैं बैंगलोर में जब जाता हूँ जितने आईटी वाले हैं मतलब मेरे जितने रीडर्स वहां पर हैं सब एम बी वगैरह वाले हैं ओके okay, 
सारे कॉर्पोरेट वाले जो है वो रीडर्स हैं और ये वो लोग हैं जिन्होंने नागराज ध्रुव चाचा चौधरी वो टाइम पे पढ़ी थी उसका करियर में जब घर की वालों की लात पड़ी कि करियर बनाओ कॉमिक्स में तुम्हारा जिंदगी बेकार हो रही है देन करियर बनाने में लग गए कॉर्पोरेट जॉब लग गई वगैरह वगैरह एंड नाउ सडनली दे आर यू नो कमिंग बैक टू कॉमिक बुक्स सो ग्रोथ आज भी हो ही रही है बस तेरह साल से वो ग्रोथ हो ही रही है बिकॉज बड़े बड़े गैप आ रहे हैं लोग कंटिन्यू नहीं रख पाते हैं बिकॉज मार्केट जो है फ्लक्चुएट हो रहा है कभी एकदम से बूम होएगा कभी नीचे आ जाएगा कभी बूम होएगा कभी नीचे आ जाएगा इट लीव्स अ लॉट ऑफ लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ पॉट होल्स इन बिटवीन तो इंडस्ट्री की ग्रोथ जो है वो कंसिस्टेंट नहीं है फॉर एग्जांपल 90s वाज लाइक यू नो 90s के टाइम पे कॉमिक मार्केट बहुत जबरदस्त था यू नो 80s के टाइम पे इट वाज कंसीडर्ड एज द गोल्डन एज 19 के टाइम पे सिल्वर एज था फिर मेरे कहने का तात्पर्य ये है कि 80 के दशक में कॉमिक बुक सेल एकदम टॉप पर थी That was like the the brightest and the biggest era hmm. if you are in comic books. 90 के दशक में थोड़ा नॉर्मल हुआ 2000 में पूरी तरह कोलैप्स हो गया वो बिकॉज केबल टीवी का जो वो था मतलब एंटरटेनमेंट के साधन लोगों के बदल गए मीन्स बदल गए उसके बाद धीरे 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 करके कोई यू नो कंपनीज आती गई बंद होती गई आती गई सस्टेन कर पाया सस्टेन नहीं कर पाया आई थिंक दी ओनली टू प्लेयर्स वर अमर चित्रकथा एंड राज कॉमिक जिन्होंने किसी तरह अपना मार्केट सस्टेन करके रखा ओके एंड दोनों को नोस्टैल्जिक वैल्यू का काफी फायदा होता है काफी बेनिफिट्स मिलते हैं इसके लिए वो कर भी पाए इसके अलावा सब आते गए जाते गए आते गए जाते गए तो ये ग्रोथ नहीं होती है ये एक सस्टेनेबिलिटी पीरियड होता है आपका कि हाँ आप आपका गला मतलब गले तक हाथ आ गया है लेकिन आप बस दम नहीं तोड़ रहे हो ये स्टिल सर्वाइविंग आई थिंक हमने ग्रोथ से ज्यादा सर्वाइवल पीरियड देखा है जो कि 15, 15, 20, 20 साल का सर्वाइवल पीरियड रहा है तो वो यहाँ पर सांस लेने सांस मतलब आदमी की जिंदगी उतनी बाकी रहती है कि भाई मैं ब्रीथ कर रहा हूँ ना उतना ही काफी है आई थिंक इसी कारण से ग्रोथ नहीं हो पाई बिकॉज अब बच गए वो ही काफी है अब ग्रोथ आगे देखी जाएगी जैसा भी है कोविड के टाइम पे कॉमिक बुक मार्केट का बूम हो गया एक्चुअली कोविड के टाइम से ही इंडस्ट्री बहुत एकदम सडन शिफ्ट हो गया बिकॉज पीपल स्टार्टेड गेटिंग अ लॉट ऑफ यू नो एंटी टाइम देयर हैंड्स ऑफिस जाने का कोई वो नहीं था ओके ओ टी टी जी कितना वेब सीरीज कितना मूवीज देखते सब हो गया दे स्टार्टेड गेटिंग बैक बैक ऑन यू नो रीडिंग कॉमिक बुक्स जिन्होंने ले लेके गड्डियों पर गड्डियां बनाई हुई थी उन्होंने वो कंप्लीट किया फिर दे वॉन्टेड मोर इसी चक्कर में और इसी दौरान कोविड के टाइम पे राज कॉमिक्स के और मनोज कॉमिक्स के जितने भी हमारे नॉस्टैल्जिक हिंदी कॉमिक बुक ब्रांड्स हैं सबके रिप्रिंट्स आने लगे इतना ज्यादा मतलब इतनी स्पीड में आने लगे महीने की तीस तीस चालीस चालीस कॉमिक्स के रिप्रिंट आ रहे थे तो लोगों को समझ में नहीं आया कि ये हो क्या रहा है और फिर ये हो गया कि यार मेरे पास क्रुकबॉन्ड का पूरा कलेक्शन होना चाहिए मेरे पास नागराज का पूरा होना चाहिए मेरे पास डोका पूरा होना चाहिए जो कि सालों से लोगों का इनकम्प्लीट था कलेक्शन Hmm. मैं कॉन्टेक्स्ट की तरफ आऊंगा कि मैं किस डायरेक्शन में जा रहा हूं तो ये जो बूम है ये हमने देखा और इसी बीच वी सॉ द इमरजेंस ऑफ अ लॉट ऑफ न्यू पब्लिशर्स तो बिकॉज मार्केट ग्रो हुआ रिक्वायरमेंट आई डिमांड आई ओके और फिर चीजें बिकने आई थिंक सिर्फ मुश्किल से तीन या चार ही इंडस्ट्रीज ने कोविड में अच्छा किया था और पब्लिशिंग वॉज वन ऑफ दम दैट्स वॉट आई सॉ बिकॉज वी नेवर स्टॉप पब्लिशिंग एंड प्रिंटिंग और वो वो पैसा कहां से आया ठीक है वो वहीं से आया है ना बिकॉज बुक्स बेची पैसा आया hmm. और नई बुक्स वापिस बनाई और बुक्स बनाई okay. तो ये चालू रहा सो आई थिंक अभी आप एक माइल्ड बूम सा देख रहे हो एक हल्का सा बिकॉज लॉर्ड ऑफ न्यू कंपनी स्टार्टेड कमिंग इन विच क्रिएटेड लॉर्ड ऑफ न्यू जॉब्स फॉर यू नो अड ऑफ न्यू यू नो न्यू राइटर्स एंड आर्टिस्ट इन द इंडस्ट्री सो इस समय काफी अच्छा टाइम है अब मैं कह सकता हूं कि थोड़ी बहुत ग्रोथ जो है वो हो रही है मांगा तो आप छोड़ ही दो हम लोग उनके कहीं नजदीक में खड़े नहीं होते हैं आई थिंक हमारा कंपटीशन हमारे खुद से ही किया जाए इस समय वो ही ठीक रहेगा सो इंडस्ट्री का ही प्रिंट रन लिया जाता है दैट इज लाइक वेरी रियलिस्टिक प्रिंट रन तो साल भर में हजार बिक जाती है दैट इज अ वेरी गुड नंबर दैट इज द रियलिटी ऑफ इंडियन कॉमिक बुक्स और अगर and this is very good number huh? so main, yeah, yeah it's not uh, bad as far as print yeah. books are concerned oh. like we are so used to thinking of sales in in like digital media millions ka views etc we don't realize that if 20000 copies of a book sell all over india then it becomes a best seller 20000 is 19 times more than what you are actually selling no but uh, compare the size right also like big publishers big really wealthy publishers and, are publishing and having books. said that digital uh, is not that big in india and i mean mm. uh, and i'm talking in in context of comic books 
comic hmm. books because see again will, the box Vivek, of- Vivek, Vivek, we will come to digital but i just want okay. to take a moment to ask ashwin about uh, do you think there are lessons to be learned from the fast growth of anime and manga that we can be applying to indian comics if yeah, yes what yeah, yeah 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 once one second one second yeah i think he's the right person to answer that because he's writing a couple of mangas for a couple of publishers no i think he is so confused that he left to go on a quest to find the answer to that question <laughs> were you asking me one second i still don't know ruko main bibi se pooch kar aata hu okay what is your question again i, I was kind of so my my question is ashwin uh, do you think the fast growth of manga and anime in india like huh. is it at all a fast growth of manga and anime because i remember animax was on television when i was in college so do you think in the recent years more growth has happened to what extent do you think there are lessons in it that indian comic book industry can absorb basically uh, anime and manga and actual indian comic books are two completely different entities people who read anime and manga do not read comic books written, brought out by indian publishers and people who are indian readers of indian publishers do not try and read manga yeah that's a good all. point hmm. so i i think these are completely different uh, entities that you're talking about uh, okay coming to whether uh Lessons again an, an, anime and manga uh, readers are very young they're not they're not old people like right. the readers right. of comic books like you and me we are they're not old people they're young adults who are around in their 20s or something and they're they're reading anime and manga because they enjoy it still mm. uh people who read comic books right are generally in our age range they're in their 30s maybe they're not in their early 20s they're in their 30s they're reading comics because they have read it before hmm i have a very pessimistic view about indian comic book readers in that there aren't too many of them there are hardly hmm. any indian comic book readers whatever you try and uh, push to them they will buy it's not like they won't buy it but it's such a small number that it's very hard to make a profit on that do you think And like I, so 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 let me ask you this uh hmm. you said if you push a comic to them they will buy it correct i'm assuming you mean that they will not become regular readers of comic books no these are regular readers of comic books people who okay. who buy comic books who are in their 30s and 40s they will buy comic books they will read it because they have been reading it since their childhood these are people who were born before the digital revolution came along you know before cable hmm. tv came along before all of that came along they used to read comics before which is why they're buying it now Okay. It's very hard to target people who are born at a time where digital uh, entertainment was easily accessible. It's very hard to target to those people who who watched cable TV growing up. If you are trying to target those, anime and manga is definitely one of those things that you can target, and those people will buy and read those things. Hmm. But so, traditional comic book is a little difficult. Okay, so so uh, since we. were on the point of digital comics and anyway and i kind of pulled away from vivek vivek uh, let me ask you this hmm. to what extent do you think the growth of the comic book industry in india is going to depend on digital because we have seen a boom and a bust already i remember when uh, ravanayan was launching we were experimenting with putting out digital comics many of those platforms no longer exist yes. uh, many of those platforms stopped existing 2 years after they started only many of them died this year uh digital comics platforms or digital comics being published by publishers as with their own app do you see widespread up, uh, you know use of this in uh, among indian publishers no i don't okay frankly i don't because i think i have a very simple answer for that hmm. i meet and greet personally meet and greet a lot of people okay every year mostly because hmm. of the comic cons also i am very active on most of the social media platforms uh i'll tell you okay uh it's almost like every year only about 3 to 4 people actually ask me vivek are there any digital versions of your comic books i say, i cater to more than 7 to 800 people every year they don't ask only like people don't want the digital versions mm-hmm. okay they don't even ask okay so when i say ki hardly two or three people ask me okay either online or at at a comic book convention or ye bhi wo log hain i think who are just uh, curious about ki bhai digital available hai ya nahi theek hai 
दे एक्टिवली बाय हार्ड कॉपीज फ्रॉम मी और बात करते करते इन लाइक कैजुअल कॉन्वर्जेशन अच्छा विवेक आई यू गाइज अवेलेबल डिजिटल एज वेल एंड आई एम लाइक नो बिकॉज देर इज नो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑनेस्टली और अगर आप डिजिटल अवेलेबल भी करवा रहे हो आई बीन वर्क आई बीन फंक्शनिंग इन द इंडियन कॉमिक बुक सीन फॉर सो लॉन्ग आई कैन टेल यू दैट डिजिटल इज लाइक यू नो जस्ट लाइक वो सांबर के साथ सॉरी डोसे के साथ चटनी मिलती है ना जैसा आप उसको खाओ नहीं खाओ आप डोसे को इंडिपेंडेंटली एंजॉय कर सकते हो तो इट्स लाइक कि यू नो वो एक प्रसाद है मिल गया मिल गया अदरवाइज किसी को पड़ी नहीं है डिजिटल का ये सीन है मोस्टली लोग जो हैं हमारे जो रीडर्स हैं ठीक है अश्विन ने जो भी बताया दे आर यू नो यंग पीपल चाचा चौधरी चंपक नागराज ध्रुव डोगा एंड थिंग्स एंड नाउ दे वॉन्ट देअर कॉमिक बुक्स इन हार्ड कॉपीज ओके प्रिंट प्रिंट फॉर्मैट सो डिजिटल है ही नहीं अगर आप अवेलेबल करवा रहे हो वो जस्ट आप खाली एक बस केटर कर रहे हो कि अगर आप किसी को लेना है तो यू नो क्या होता है लेट्स कीप बोथ द डोर डोर्स ओपन कि डिजिटल अगर किसको लेना है तो देयर इज नो इनकम कमिंग फ्रॉम डिजिटल कॉमिक्स व्हाट्सएवर नन नॉट अप कुछ नहीं इट्स द इंडस्ट्री इज स्टिल 99.8 प्रिंट डिपेंडेंट सो आई डोंट नो इफ यू गाइस हैव इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन दिस एंड आई सर्टेनली डोंट सो आई एम मोस्टली आस्किंग बिकॉज़ आई फाइंड इट अ लिटिल हार्ड टू बिलीव दैट डिजिटल which has made inroads into almost every field cinema is digital now books are digital now but comics refuse to go digital or comics don't go digital because there is no demand uh, do you think the people who like ashwin said these are two different categories right indian comic book readers and anime readers manga readers do you think most these manga are... readers are actually buying manga or are they using uh, their phones to read manga I Ashwin think they can are. answer that because I'm not a manga yeah. reader, so you, yeah. Ashwin, please. I think a lot of people are buying manga. I think a lot of people are reading this stuff because mm. I've seen a lot of publishers. I mean, not publishers. I've seen a lot of outlets for manga comics. I mean, mm. the, the manga. So I have seen so many of them crop up recently, and they seem to be doing well enough. So I think okay. people are buying it. It's not that they aren't okay. buying it. so the consensus between you two would be that generally speaking consumption of comics is still something that readers like to do with print books hmm okay yeah. okay also there is this thing okay uh, even i read digital comics sometimes okay when it comes to marvel and dc i'm an active superhero reader okay i consume a lot of comics on weekly basis uh, in digital uh, format as well but the hmm. thing with me and i think it's with the i think it's safe to say it's with uh it's common with thousands of other uh, you know comic book readers is that uh if i happen to like something digitally i'll make sure that i buy it because okay. most of the comic book readers theek hai also belong to uh, you know the collector fraternity people love to collect comic books hmm. india mein especially in india theek hai comic book reading ka jo medium hai it is very much associated with my collection my collection ye tere paas kya hai bhai tere paas kya hai so wo ek wo rehta hai you know uh, mm. even even if you read a digital comic even in today's time uh, even if you read a digital comics or even if you read a comic book digitally okay because see the thing is that ki with western comics they release weekly or monthly okay so there is no other option if you like reading batman regularly you'll have to read uh, those batman comics uh, you know you have to digitally first because single issues are not available in india and tpbs or collector editions ko aane mein will take months So you keep on reading those those comic books if you love a certain writer or or an artist and if you really like that i'm sure i can connect with a lot of people on this that they will eventually end up buying that and adding up in their collection so aisi mentality wale bhi bahut log hote hain jo digital ko bhi wo karte hain or eventually people end up buying hard copies for themselves if they write a specific run of a writer or, or an artist or maine bahut logo se suna hai ki they love to read digital comics first okay uske baad eventually they also end up buying for one more reason is because they don't get value for money especially in india okay hmm. for for a digital comic book unhone thoda paisa lagaya digital uh, uh, you know read kar li but at the end of the day wo to gayab ho gayi na it's you know it exists on a computer screen or, or on your tablet aap usko haath mein leke to kuch nahi par india mein value for money ka kuch zyada hi hai yahan pe to is to so there are like multiple re- smaller and bigger reasons like these ki log aaj bhi हार्ड कॉपी लेना पसंद करते हैं एक तो वो उसको हाथ में फील कर पाते हैं यू नो देर इज अंस ऑफ एक्सिस्टेंस इन दैट बुक फॉर देम और फिर वो उनके कलेक्शन में ऐड होती है विच आई थिंक इज अ 
thing of pride for any comic book reader you know who, okay yeah so let me uh, since we have like 10 minutes left let me come back to the comic book that uh, you guys have made and it's coming back uh, yeah i just i just realized i don't remember its name it's called as operation dk thank you operation dk okay operation dk so, yeah. give me a brief overview ashwin of the story of it not so operation the story DK. but like the uh-huh. thing that you would tell to readers to get them excited about buying it correct so operation dk is essentially uh, its first job is introducing two new characters that's okari and ayud mm-hmm. and uh, primarily it is about a threat that comes to our earth right mm. there's a universe that is parallel to our universe and that universe has already been destroyed by something called the dk and the okay. dk is essentially something that ends universes right it's inevitable your universe will also end eventually mm. but that that end has decided it doesn't want to wait around and it wants to finish its job right now which is what it does it comes now and it's finishing everything off that's what the dk is and our heroes have to go up against this no okay. that's the story. so you have a universe ending threat and a team of superheroes who are trying to stop it correct <laughs> okay i mean isn't that the regular recipe for any superhero uh, you know team ups or events to happen there has right. to be so a, what is uh, if it is if it is then what is different about your story <laughs> <laughs> it's also quite interesting to know that you know all these characters you know are coming together for the first time okay and that makes this event very special because okay. i don't think so uh, you know desh has come across uh, uh, you know this character called as shaitan singh or okari has ever met desh or, you know and things like that so okay ye ye uh, jaisa ki maine apne initial conversation mein kaha tha the universe is still very young the company is still very young and the characters are, are even younger ये कैरेक्टर्स अभी बच्चे हैं लिटरली इन्होंने अभी कुछ लाइफ में नहीं देखा मुश्किल से दो दो वॉल्यूम मिली है इन सब ओके सो दे आर जस्ट कमिंग इनटू टर्म्स यू नो ऑफ व्हाट दे आर ऑफ यू नो और व्हाट देयर लाइव्स और द यूनिवर्स इज एंड हु द अदर कैरेक्टर्स आर ऑनेस्टली वी हैवंट इवन स्क्रैच द सरफेस ऑफ द एचसी वर्स येट ओके सो यू मेंशन आयुध समटाइम्स समटाइम अगो वेयर ही फाइंड दैट इज द स्टोरी वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट starting out with i starting out with i so this is the book in a in a larger story called operation dk uh, this is operation dk book 1 this is operation Correct. dk volume 1 and this is ayudh the magician okay got it yeah so uh, what is the like this one deals with ayudh dealing with dk then there will be other characters with their own books dealing with dk and eventually they all come together to fight the dk correct yes so how many parts are going there going to be so operation dk basically is a five volume thing okay it's a mm. massive 500 plus page story spanning across five volumes okay so there is a larger story going in the background okay which mm. is about the dk but we start with the introduction of uh, uh, the magician called as ayudh this is okay. volume 1 okay mm. and then the story moves ahead with the second character okay who is a demigod called as okari Okay. He's an African demigod. Okay. Okay. Then the story moves ahead with volume three, and in volume three we see uh, Desh and Dehak entering for the first time. Okay. Okay. Desh is a character from our best-selling series called as the Last Asuran, which already okay. has two volumes out in the market, and Dehak will be making her debut later in uh, you know later this year. Hmm. So three volumes were already out, and recently we finished. the crossover event by releasing uh, volumes 4 and 5 simultaneously okay so this is volume 4 okay and this is volume 5 okay and all these books since you're holding in your hand let me yes. just ask you uh, are they at what point of time will all of them uh, become available to buy they are uh, actively available volume 1 Volume one, the the one that we are discussing today with Ayud, that one is already on sale. Volume one, two, and three are already available with our own website called as Holika dot in, okay. as well as Amazon. Okay, volumes four and five, I just got my copies from the printer mm-hmm. yesterday, and now okay. they are actively for, available. For, for for the audience, let me just uh, tell you that I'll be putting links to all these uh, comic book purchase pages in the description of this video. Ha, sure. go on. 
So all five volumes from today onward are actively available from holycow.in. Okay. Yeah, holycow.in is our own website. All five volumes are now available. Okay, cool. And uh, there was a very good reason of uh, uh, you know releasing both volumes five and six simultaneously is because we were seeing a uh, um, uh, you know long gaps between each volume. So I was like, "Ki ab jab khatam kari rahe to achhe se pro- properly pura khatam kar do because volume four and five have uh, uh, you know it has multiple artists." So I thought that two three months ka extra gap leke isko khatam karke let's release this it simultaneously so that people can enjoy. Almost 150 pages of story in one go, and then we can end and and you know uh, do more things because hmm. Operation DK <laughs> crossover event के खत्म होने के चक्कर में दो तीन और characters रुके हुए थे उनकी stories नहीं आ पा रही थी you know especially the heck on which you and Tadam has worked so yeah. I decided to volume four and five एक साथ खत्म are we going to are we going to spoil that because I I was wondering if I should tell the audience that I am the one who's writing the heck I think a lot of people know that you you have written the heck because that thing happened long back <laughs> but the book is not out yet right no no it, it is not out yet it it will be ah. out uh, so, in june or july so, so, so for those who those of you who don't know if you vivek do you want to show the dahak wala cover again i don't you have a cover of it. Oh, okay no the one uh, that you showed with dahak and desh yeah, yeah so the character in the top half of the screen where where the one with the red cape yeah that's the character that i am writing when the book comes out you will be the first to know i guess yes So Operation DK is fully completed, and you can, uh, and whoever wants to get their hands uh, on the remaining four and five volume or all five volumes can actively buy from Holy Cow Dot. I think it's taken three years for this volume to get over for this this whole series to get over. Yeah, I still can't figure it out why because mm-hmm. Gorov and Pressy were like readily available, but uh, somehow it took some time. I mean, that's why I, <laughs> I that's. I just can't think of a you know of any good reason why it got delayed. But finally, it's over, and yeah, and we can move ahead now. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, so why was it delayed? Since you've mentioned it, you might as well say it. <laughs> I have uh, surprisingly, I don't know why it got delayed because uh, it, it it obviously did not get delayed because of uh, you know any artist. So um, solve, let's solve the case like a detective. So who, <laughs> who are all the people who have to work on time for a comic book to come out? The publisher, the, the artist. artist, and the writer. The publisher yeah. was on time, or was he not? Publisher was on time. Publisher was what on about, time. What about the artists? Artist, I, I don't think. 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 Uh, he was actually the first one to first start. Artist. Okay. जिसने start किया उसका नाम because तुम पूछ रहे थे ना कि कितने लोगों ने किया है so I I was missing हर्षो मोहन चट्टोराज name so okay. apparently उसने so start किया उसका नाम तो end में याद आया what about what about the writer did he submit his work on time I think he did I think he did he, he did okay. he did a fairly nice job is in fact उसने I think इसने la- fourth volume fourth and fifth volume तो एक महीने के difference में ही खत्म करके दे दिया था and I was like जब मेरे को email आया तो I was like कि यार ये actually इसने भेजा है time पे कि मतलब मैं सपना देख रहा हूँ ये क्या हो रहा है so <laughs> नहीं इसने time पे complete कर दिया था और सारे artists लोग ने भी time I think one of the biggest reasons I can think of now is having multiple artists hmm. doing multiple sequences and sabse time lena aur sabse properly ek hi time pe kaam nikalwana i think that was a bit taxing us chakkar mein thoda sa i think delay ho gaya that is the only Achha. only reason i can think of the delay cool so cool. just to let you guys know i started writing this series in 2016 okay in See, 2016 i started writing you were the writer the, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the culprit has been among us all along yes. this is like one of those detective stories where बाहर बारिश हो रही है सब कोई एक कमरे में होते हैं डिटेक्टिव आता है 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 ठीक 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 तुम में से नहीं आएगा कि मैं, है कि मैं मैं पब्लिकली किसी को बदनाम कर रहा हूं इसने खुद ही ठीक है एग्री कर लिया कि मैं सात साल पहले लिखना स्टार्ट किया था तो सात साल आई थिंक इट्स जॉर्ज आर आर मार्टिन ने गेम ऑफ थ्रोन लिखना शुरू किया था सॉन्ग ऑफ आइस एंड फायर लिखना शुरू किया था तीस साल पहले नो आई थिंक चालीस साल पहले सो आज तक खत्म नहीं हुई है By, by I, the way, I wrote this uh, series on time. Okay, I gave it to everyone on time. <laughs> the other people are the ones who are not doing it on time, like this guy over here. 
So okay. for the for, for the audience yeah. of this channel, in case you are still confused about why the Indian comic book industry is not growing, <laughs> I think you may have gotten a good idea about it now. We are a bunch of nincompoops making it up as we go along. Uh, at the end of the day, okay, हम हैं तो Indians ही और Indians की खासियत यही होती है कि अपनी गलती दूसरों पे blame करना. Yeah, so... yeah, yeah. Speak for yourself, okay. Speak Thank for you. yourself. <laughs> so yeah. yeah no. Everything so, said and done. Finally, uh, the OD crossover is out, and uh, this has actually opened okay, a lot of ventures for a lot of new characters to come in, and uh, this has solidified characters like Ayu the Nokari, uh, you know, by giving them more than one fifty to two hundred pages of content each in the event. So, abhi Ayu the Nokari ki story is very interesting hone wali hai because sab ki grounding ho chuki hai, and this, uh, you know, and the culmination of this event. is going to give birth to a completely new phase and i'm officially naming it over here hashtag #all new holy cow so the all new holy cow initiative which will kick start from june july onward and mm. i'm working with a lot of new guys like bijoy ravindran ashwin kalmane um you know abhinash ghosh ashwin kalmane is not a new guy he's just told us that he started <laughs> right. writing the yeah. damn thing 7 <laughs> years ago <laughs> not so new old guy ashwin kalmane is you know uh, uh in case anyone was dying to learn about this obscure little thing called the indian comic book industry i hope you have a little more insight about it now and also go to holycow.in and uh, uh do uh, purchase the new comics that are coming out i'll put be i'll be putting the links to all of them in the description of this video ashwin is the writer vivek is the publisher and the artists are not here because we are cheap kids so mm. with that Thank we come you. to the end of What, technically, what? Vivek, technically, Vivek is one of the uh, artists on the book. <laughs> yes, See, that's the thing. I Vivek's managerial all responsibility. The covers, by the way, I did each and every cover of Operation DK, but I have not taken his credit for this because okay, yeah, I am a publisher I now. It. I get it. Your managerial responsibilities take priority over your artistic uh, desire to take credit for the things that you have done. I get it. I get it. So yeah that was it for today's episode i hope you guys liked it we will be back with our regular old content from next week onwards live conversations until then uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not and if you are listening to this on an audio platform please leave a rating or a review of the show and uh, i'll see you next time bye 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 <laughs> bye